Hello friends, welcome back to our channel DS Tech Mirror. In today's video, I will cover introduction to PCF. PCF is Power App Component Framework. So guys, I am planning to start this tutorial now where I will cover everything from zero to advanced level in PCF. I will cover so this is my basic plan which I am going to follow in this particular tutorial. This is not finalized. I might update it but at a high level this is the plan which I am going to follow. We will start with the introduction to PCF. We will cover what is what do you mean by PCF, why we require PCF, what are the advantages of PCF, limitations of PCF, everything we will cover in the introduction. Next we will see how to set up the development environment where uh, before we start with the development, we need certain set of toolings, commands, everything we will cover in this particular topic, setting up development environment. Once we are done with the development environment, I will cover how you can create your PCF component. So we will cover a very basic first PCF component. I will cover all the commands, what all the dependencies we need, everything I will cover in this particular topic, first PCF component. Once that is done, I will cover the entire solution structure because when we will run set a set of commands, it will set up the PCF project for us. So what we will do, we will go through each and every file. We will try to understand the basic code. We will try to understand the basic relationship between each files, how the code flow would be. Everything I will cover in this particular topic. Since PCF allows us to use various JavaScript frameworks, so uh, and in this particular tutorial, I am going to use React. So here next I will cover development with react functional components so in particular I will be using functional components instead of class components so I will you know try to cover basics of react functional component this tutorial does not allow me to go into the you know advanced topic or you know completely into react but I will make sure before uh, you know I use anything from the react functional component side I will try to explain it so that even if you are not from the react background you will be able to connect the dots then uh, I will cover the how you can debug and deploy your PCF component. Once everything is done, then my initial plan is to do two hands-on. I might increase it, but minimum I will cover two hands-on. In today's video, I will cover the first part that is the introduction. So let's get started. What is PCF? So if you have not heard about PCF, PCF is Power App Component Framework. Just like we have in SharePoint, SharePoint Framework for Power Apps we have Power App component framework. Since you know in you know Power Apps we have all the controls available within the Power App, just like text box, input box, everything we have with, within the Power Apps. But in case if we need any custom code component, with, for that we can use PCF. Once we have created this PCF component, that is Power App, uh, PCF control, we can use use across all our apps. I can use with uh, Canvas app, I can use it with model driven apps, I can use it with uh, Power App Portal uh, which is now being renamed as Power Pages. I can use it with Power Pages as well. So my PCF uh, component that is uh, my PCF control will work with all the uh, between all the different Power Apps like Canvas app, model driven apps and Power Pages. Now question arises in Canvas app also we can create code components then how it is different from there. Now, if, uh, if you are not aware about the code components in Canvas app, I will give you a one line of explanation. For example, if you have to create a component and if you have to create header and footer and for one particular client, I am going to develop 20 apps. So now instead of, you know, creating those header and footer again in different 20 apps. So what I am going to do, I will create one component in Canvas app, one header component and one footer component then I can reuse uh, this header and footer component across all my 20 apps. How is it different from PCF? In code components in Canvas app I cannot use any of the you know coding languages like JavaScript or TypeScript or React or Angular. Then Canvas component are I can only use it inside the Canvas app I cannot use it inside the model driven apps or power pages but with PCF what I can do I can create one PCF component first I can use uh, TypeScript, I can use JavaScript for that, I can use Angular or React. So this gives a lot of freedom. I can use Bootstrap. Using all these things what I can do, I can create a one control based on my business requirements since I have a lot of freedom for that. And I can use with Canvas app if I want I can plug it in model driven app or power pages. So this is the basic difference and that's why PCF is a you know very powerful 
and lot of controls are nowadays are being built inside PCF. Now once I have created this code component called PCF, I can use it on forms, views, dashboard and canvas app script. This I have already covered. If you are not aware about what are forms, views and dashboard, these are the things related to the model driven apps and I have a complete tutorial for model driven apps. I will request you to go and visit there. Next is currently PCF is not supported for on-premise environment. It is only supported on cloud environment that is N365. Now this is the basic introduction. By now you must be having the uh, basic knowledge of PCF and the main question is now you must be know why we need PCF and what we can do using PCF. So the PCF is an abbreviation for Power Apps Component Framework just like we have SPFX for SharePoint Framework. Moving on to next we have advantages. Support for client framework like React and AngularJS, I covered that. Reusability, again, uh, I al already covered this as well because we can reuse it across multiple canvas app, model driven apps and power pages. Optimization for performance, it gives a, you know, a very good performance in our apps. Server access through web APIs. There are certain web APIs where, you know, we can access the data was. Responsive design, I can create. And ability to bundle all files into a single solution so this uh, you know will get more clear the gradually we will you know deep dive into this complete tutorial i cannot cover this into one single video but if i have to explain it now what it will do because while you will do the development there will be a lot many files there would be uh, many components file then css file many artifacts so you but with PCA, what we can do, we can bundle everything into one single solution. So this we will cover when we will see how we can deploy our PCF components. So these are the advantages. Next is types of components. So guys, this is a bit important. We should know what different types of component I can create inside PCF. I can create two types of component, field component and data set component. Field component means a custom control for a field on a form. Data set mean a custom control to display rows of data. In a very basic term, I would say, for example, you have a cho choice drop down. You want to customize that or you want to have a choice drop down that should have a specific behavior based on your business requirement. So to fulfill this kind of business requirement, you have to create a field requirement because you are fulfilling a business requirement related to a field on a form. For these kind of requirement where you will be creating a custom field like you are modifying the calendar control, you are modifying the text box control for all these things, you will be creating field component. How? That we will see in future videos. What is data set component? A custom control to display rows of data. And now how we are displaying rows of data? Inside a grid. So in case you are creating your own custom grid, for example, I want to use uh, any control from the Microsoft Fluent UI to display data. So for that, I can use, I will be using data set component. So this is the basic difference. For field also, I can use any of the control from Microsoft Fluent UI. So this is another major advantage because Microsoft is putting a lot of emphasis on using Microsoft Fluent UI, which gave us seamless integration across M365. So inside PCA, I can use uh, Microsoft Fluent UI as well. And uh, not only Microsoft Learn UI, if I have to use other controls, that also I can use. But basically, Microsoft recommends to use uh, Microsoft Learn UI uh, for seamless integration. Now, PCF is by default enabled for model driven apps. There is no issue. You can straight away start with the development and you can deploy. But if you are planning to create uh, for Canvas app, you have to enable that explicitly from the admin center. And I have highlighted over here. These are the steps. Go to your admin center. Select your environment, select your product, feature, PCF for Canvas app. Let's quickly see this, how we can enable it. When we will be creating any PCF component for Canvas app, then there also we will see this. But let me quickly uh, show you how we can enable it. This is my power apps. I am inside my environment, DS Sec mirror. So let me go to the admin center. I'll click on this gear icon. I'll go to admin center. From the admin center, I will select my environment because it will display me the list of the, all the environments I have inside my tenant. I have to select DS Tech Mirror. I will select DS Tech Mirror. 
from here i'll go to settings expand this product go to features and from here i have to enable the pcf component for canvas app what i can do i can uh, try to search okay canvas create new canvas app and cloud frozen data bar solutions over here you can see power apps component framework for canvas app and from here you can enable it it's very simple so this is how we can enable let's go back to the slides next is code component can be used to column grid and subgrid in model driven apps for tables from the classic view go to tables and from under controls at the new pcf control so we will see this particular steps over here i have mentioned that uh, we can create for column grid i have already covered for column we, we will be using field for grid i will be using data set type and how we can enable them how we can add them into our pages this we will see separately uh, during our hands on same for the next point as well over here i have mentioned how we can add the control so this also i will cover during my hands on how we can cover it this we will cover from you know from 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 the very basic so no need to worry about this at this point in time so guys this is the basic introduction uh, for the pcf now in my next video i am going to cover how we can set up the development environment and then we will you know uh, continue our journey into this pcf tutorial so that's it for today's video if you like this video please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our upcoming videos you can reach out to us through modern sharepoint or you can also you know contact us through our official email id you can follow me on twitter to get all the updates from the office 365 world till our next video much love keep learning thank you